Merry Christmas to everyone. Today is Merry Christmas. Well, no, tomorrow's actually Christmas Day, but today is Christmas Eve, and traditionally that's when my family celebrates Christmas. And in a few hours from now, I'm going to be having prime rib, baked potatoes, green beans, salads, homemade rolls, desserts, all here with my with four of my grandchildren and my four daughters and a husband, my husband and a son-in-law. And it's going to be a jolly good time and the house is all clean and I'm just ready to get the roast going. And I'm really looking forward to it this year. And I know in the beginning of the season, I said that I wasn't real crazy about Christmas. And it's still a little difficult for me. As you know, today was is the 22nd year, our anniversary of my mother's death. She died in 1994, December 24th, Christmas Eve, 7 o'clock in the evening. So every single Christmas Eve, somehow my body remembers that. But you know what? I know it was her favorite day of the year. And I know she would love to see this video. And she would have helped me dress these babies. I just want you to know. She's my heart. And she was the reason why I got into dolls in the first place at a very, very young age. And she loved dolls, and I know she would just think this was just too funny and wonderful to do. So this is dedicated to my mom, all my babies here. And since Halloween, when I did a little group shot and video, we've added another one. And that's our little Gabby, who's right here. And I'm hoping that this isn't very blurry, but she has the cutest little... um white headband on with hearts and a darling little Carter's dress that I fell in love with when I saw it and now you can't even see and if I bend over everybody's going to topple but on the side on her bottom the pockets there a little bit are two Santa Clauses and it has a white sweater that goes with it but when I put it on it just kind of covered up the Santa Clauses and now I've covered them up without thinking and she's here with her little lammy that that her by her creator mom Asha sent with her home and that's little Ivy who's very very cute and next to her is my little Sophia and did I say Sophie for Gabby no that th she this is Gabby I'm not sure I know what I'm saying but her, that's Gabrielle and then here, of course, is Sophia. And you know, I had Sophia all dressed up in a very fancy dress that I paid a little bit of money for. And you know, it just didn't sit right in my heart. And I found this in my stash from a couple of years ago. I had this cute onesie that was made by someone on Etsy. And it was it's a Christmas tree there. And it has little Christmas tree... Not Christmas tree, but red um, little leggings. I don't know what they're called, but they don't they don't go all the way up. They just go up past the knees, um, with green bows on each knee. And then she has her little red um, snow boots on that go. And then she has a reindeer hat for her head, and she just looks so cute. And you know, I came to the conclusion. Because I was trying some things on Miss um, Gabby here. And, you know, I am not a fancy person. I'm not a flowy person. I'm a pretty down-to-earth. I'm a sporty kind of gal, you know. I wear skirts. And I wear slacks. And I wear pullover um, tees. And I'll layer them with sweaters and different things like that. But I'm not a fancy, flowy kind of gal. I don't wear a lot of jewelry. I just wear necklaces. And I guess it's, I don't know, my babies aren't either. Gabby is cert does not have the personality of a, a Spanish knit kind of gal, and I wish they did. And I know it sounds funny because I love those clothes. But they just, 
for some reason they just they're the way they're painted I don't know they just don't that just doesn't speak to me so you know she's um and I know a lot of people have been kind of critical of Carter's and me included but I have found some darling things that I'll share with you on Monday at um Target of all places with Cat and Jack. Oh my gosh, I have a 30% chat sale and I just cleaned up. I had so much fun. But my little girls, they're, they're, Sophia's more of a fancier girl than Gabrielle. But anyway, so much for that. So that's those two. And then we have over here, we have Mr. Oliver who is wearing his sweater, his Dalmatian sweater holiday sweater from Jimboree and it's got the Dalmatian on of course and then he's got hit Mr. Otis with him and right now I can't show you because like I said I'm trying to get all these kids in same time I can't bend over or I'll lose they'll all topple over anyway he's got new little Jimboree shoes on black shoes that have red plaid flannel lining very very cute and Otis is sitting there and then I have Miss Ricky who's kind of probably washed out in the light there. Um, I'm trying to get as much light in here as I can. It's a very cloudy, dark day here in Hemet. We've had a lot of rain and I'm so grateful for that. But anyway, she's wearing her Jimboree gingerbread knit with faux fur on the edges. Um, little dress and it's beautiful with her patent leather shoes. And then she has Mr. Um, Duffy there with her little black Scotty and of course we cannot leave giggles out we ain't got Sophia's giggles and she's got a big red bow and she's there to say hi and now we move over here and we've got Finn my darling Finn and he is wearing a Dalma the Jimboree Holiday Collection Dalmatian too, holding the little Dalmatian that actually goes in that pocket and this is such a uh, neat. I got all of these brand new and they're they're probably three or four years old in the collections as far as Jimboree goes or maybe more five or six and uh, but they were still new with the tags and that's his little Dalmatian onesie that goes underneath it and you can see how the quality of the corduroy that's why I love Jimboree clothes they're just wonderful and they make so many of one collection you can put it on different babies. And then we have Miss Charlotte here who's laying back looking at the light. And I can't straighten her out. But she's got the matching girl version of Finn's overalls with the little Dalmatians on them. You can see and it's on her collar, her Peter Pan collar. Let me see if I can get this to focus. Sorry, folks. Anyway, it doesn't want to focus, but there we go. Anyway, the little Dalmatians, and then she's holding Murphy, the Westie, and she has her black patent leather shoes on, and um, Finn, he's so cute. Love that boy. So pensive, you know, and then he's got um, Snow, his polar bear. And up above here, we have my three Christmas bears. Uh, they, these are the two bears here the, on the ends that are Dennis Basso, Basco bears, which I love. And then the middle of this one is one that I got at Hobby Lobby for my birthday. He was just kind of out there on the edge of the Christmas table. And I just fell in love with him and his scarf and that... Uh, what he, Elmer Fudd hat that he's got on to keep his ears warm. And they're part of the club. So that's my babies. Guys saying Merry Christmas to all of you and hoping that you have a good, well, a happy Christmas, a Merry Christmas with your friends and your family. And don't take anything too seriously. I think that was part of my trouble in the past but I'm really having a great holiday and I'm really really enjoying the videos I've been seeing people their Christmas videos it's been just so fun it's so nice and much words of wisdom have passed along in those videos and I love that 
because it makes me feel better. And uh, anyway, have a very Merry Christmas. Do eat a lot. <laughs> I plan on doing that. I'm not going to say drink a lot because I don't drink. And I know that alcohol can lead to many problems on Christmas holidays too. So anyway, that's enough of my preaching. But remember who's, who the greatest gift of all was the gift of Jesus Christ our Savior. And God bless you and Merry Christmas.